Hey everyone, it's Jason with Preston Street Market and I am here with a huge, massive, massive, massive um, viewer consignment. This is, I think, around, let me see, I think somewhere around 70 pounds, roughly. It's come in three huge boxes. Um, a little disclosure, um, I did open um, the boxes because um, this is all things that this viewer has purchased from Goodwill. Um, and so she knew it would be a lot of, there would be some things that I could use, some things that I couldn't use. Um, but to my delight and surprise, there has been a lot of really, really wonderful and rare pieces. I mean, we have found some cool stuff so far. So I'm just going to show a few of the things and then we'll get into opening. Um, so when I say that I've gone through them, I didn't open everything. I just, there's a lot of things that are wrapped like this. So I don't know what's in them. Um, so those things I left wrapped and left as they are the things that were in clear bags that I could see, um, that I, you know, could see through the bag were, you know, common pieces or things that, you know, really needed to go into, uh, like a mystery bag. Then I s quickly sorted those and threw everything else, um, in a, a bigger, um, box. So, um, I'm going to show you just a little bit of some of what I've already pulled out that was fabulous. And I'm going to start with the best thing that I have found so far. I absolutely love, look at this, absolutely stunning, beautiful, beautiful piece. And this is by Jules Van Rouge, very expensive necklace, very, very, very expensive and very rare necklace. And it is in immaculate condition. I fell in love with that. And if that doesn't get me excited, look at this. This is huge. This is my hand. Look how big this brooch is. This is, and when I tell you who it's by, you're going to be like, what? Just wait for it. So I turned it over. I was looking and I was like, hmm, I was expecting to see some, some, you know, brand that I've never heard of, and it's Le, Le, Le Bernard, Les Bernard, however you say or pronounce his, his name. I've never seen a nicer piece, and this is, I mean, this is huge, absolutely huge. Here's my, my loop. I mean, this is, let's just see. This is like four inches. Yeah, four by three, that's huge for a brooch. So I loved that. Um, let's see. This was gorgeous, gold tone. Um, let's see. Who is this? Oh, Bogoff. So this is Bogoff. You can see it's marked again there with the number. Beautiful, immaculate piece. I mean, like it was never worn there's, I mean, virtually nowhere, um, and, and Bogoff is a really, really good high-end um, costume designer. So this I thought was cool. I have never heard of this designer, but this is so well made, and it is by, what was it? Sweet Romance? Yeah, Sweet Romance. So look how very, very interesting. I mean, that is such a big, chunky cuff. Um, I haven't tested these to see if they're actual gemstones, but I mean, this is beautiful and well-made. I don't think it's incredibly old, but it is a, a, a very good piece. This is fabulous. So sterling filigree or silver filigree. I'm not, I don't know that this is sterling. I'm assuming that it is, but I have not tested. This is just... Um, you know, things that I've pulled, um, and also to help speed this up, you know, we've been dealing with a hurricane here in Houston. And so it's put me behind. 
So I'm having to do a little bit off camera um, just to kind of speed the process up, but this is beautiful. Let's see. Oh, this Brutalist piece is, I have no words. I have no words. Look at this. That is a stunning Brutalist piece. You've got Tiger's Eye there, and it is signed DS Handmade Denmark, and then 20. And then look, I mean, it's just absolutely fantastic. Definitely age, has age. A dr very dramatic statement piece. Let's see. Oh, this was gorgeous. Beautiful, sharp, sharp, sharp rhinestones. And this was Weiss, I think. Yep, yeah, that's Weiss. Beautiful, beautiful piece. This was a stunner. This is Nolan Miller. Very high quality um, costume. Faceted glass. So pretty. And this is all stuff, guys, that she's collected from mystery boxes from Goodwill. I mean, it's so hard. I mean... I never find stuff of this level. So this, I believe, is Marcel Boucher. I could be wrong. Uh, let me see, where's the mark, where's the mark? Nope, I'm wrong, it's Bogoff. I think there was a stone missing on here. Other than that, these are sharp, sharp rhinestones. Um, and that never happens. Actually, there is not a stone missing. I'm crazy. I thought there was one, but there's not. So this is, yeah, there's not. This is Bogoff. Again, super high-end costume. Um, this was one I hadn't heard of. Peruzzi, Florence. And I don't know if this is some kind of like, I think it's snakeskin maybe. And you've got that little knob there. It's just super cute. I've never um, heard of that brand before. So this piece stumps me. Because when you look at it, you're going to be like, oh, that's Juliana. But it's not. But I don't know what it is. So here's the back. You know me. Start with the back first. There is no markings. This pen is not right. There's no pen stop. It, I don't really see figure eights. There's no open bezel back, but wait till you see the front. Now, if that doesn't scream Juliana, the only other thought in my mind is maybe Regency, but that setting is not typical to Regency. They use a lot of that dog tooth setting. So I'm loving this. It definitely has age. This closure is just so puzzling because it just, it's like it doesn't match the piece, but it's, it seems original. So I'm loving that. Oh yeah, this was cool. This I need to test. It's just marked SS. And so this little thing thing pulls out and I had to clean this one up really really well so this pulls out and it'll open um, so it did polish up just like a sterling silver would I'm not sure that it's sterling silver I've never seen that SS mark but I will do my research and determine what that is but I thought it was super cool um, this lady definitely had luck when it comes to Goodwill boxes because all this she bought for mystery bags, and it's just something she's enjoyed doing, and she has <laughs> done very well. So these are fabulous. Look at those. So these are Petite Point. Petite Point, those are zo usually Zuni. They're all sterling. And I've, I've polished, uh, I've cleaned and polished all of these already. These two are definitely the older ones and that I do believe are Zuni. Um, that petite point is very Zuni-esque. And then this one I believe to be Navajo. But I mean, how wonderful is that? 
Mm, I forgot about this one. Okay, so this next one I'm going to show you, I wish I knew who made it. I have no idea. Look at, this cannot be American. This cannot be made in the U.S. I just, I don't know anybody that has the, this type of setting in the back. It, it's so interesting. And just wait till you see the front. There's the pen. So the pen doesn't stick out very far. And then look. So this is at least, this is 1950s for sure for that AB coating. So it's, you know, post 1950s. So who, who could this be? This is such a sharp piece. I mean, those are brilliant, brilliant, beautiful rhinestones in fantastic shape. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, okay. These were filthy and not filthy from her, not filthy because of her, anything like that. They just, you know, when you get stuff from Goodwill, it's not polished, never. Um, and so I cleaned these up really, really well and was shocked when I saw the mark. So there we go. You can see that silver tone, you, I mean the sterling, and then you can see the gold, 18 karat. And then you look back here, and I believe this is John Hardy. I think that's a, their mark, the John Hardy mark. So it's 925 and 18K. This is very much their backing. Um, I could be wrong, because the mark is so hard to see. but I am fairly certain that these are John Hardy. There we go. So you can see the 18K and the 925. These are stunning and they were like black when I pulled them out. They were black so I really spent a long time on these because I knew they were good. Let's see. Mmm. All right, so here's one that I was very shocked when I saw the maker because I'm like, what? Okay, so I'm just gonna show you this in this way first. Look at this. So you have these jonquil rhinestones and these individual setting gold tone. I mean, this is classy, classy, classy. You look at this, you look at this, you go, 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 go. Shepherd's hook, okay, definitely gonna be vintage. And then look at the tag. Sarah Coventry. Sarah Coventry is a great designer. There's some very expensive pieces out there, but I never expected this to be a Sarah Coventry. It is so nice, so gorgeous and flawless. These jonquil rhinestones are just as clear as can be. It's like some of this stuff has, you know, been preserved. I mean, she really, really, really got lucky um, with with her with her stuff, and um, I can't remember who this is. Let me see. Dwayne, maybe. So this was beautiful. I think it's Dwayne. Um, so look here how gorgeous. Those blue baguettes. I think there is one missing on here. It's either on here or on the earrings. There's matched earrings with it. Here's the back. Beautiful setting. And then their mark there. See? So I, the earrings to match are there too. I wanted to show you. I forget. I swore there was a... I saw a Boucher in here. It's Bogoff. I don't know why I keep getting Bogoff and, and Boucher mixed, but here's another Bogoff. And I mean, again, for the age of this piece, still got the safety chain. I mean, it is in pristine condition. Absolutely pristine. Very, very high-end, beautiful costume jewelry. I have had more fun going through. Oh, this was cool. So this is um, a Damascene. So a Damascene little guitar pen, definitely old. 
Um, it's in really good shape. It's so cute. Cute little figural. Um, let's see. Well, this one I'm still unable to identify. I have a suspicion. I am kind of thinking it is Regency, but I just don't know. Um, so I, again, I haven't researched any of this stuff. This is just what I've gone through so far um, in an effort to, to speed up her consignment because it's, I'm a little bit behind. So here's the necklace. So very pretty. And again, brilliant stones. They're just, they're just so fine. And this dog tooth setting is what's making me think Regency. Plus, when you look at that construction on the back, that is very, very Regency, in my opinion. I could be completely wrong. So if you know who this is, call it out, please. By the time this video posts, I will probably have figured it out. But if you know, please drop it in the, the comments. I would love to, to hear it. Um... So I think I'm ready to go. So there's still a few more things that I had opened. Um, this is a My Fair Lady brooch. It's got some enamel loss. Um, this was really pretty. I believe it's Austrian. Gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Yeah, made in Austria. This was cute. Little rhinestone pen. Little figural frog. She's signed. Oh, this is good, 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 good Sarah I've had one of these before, and then there's some earrings that match here. That's early Sarah Coventry, so she has some really good um, Sarah Coventry pieces. Now, this is modern, but I loved that molded sort of glass and then the enameling, um, but it's, it is definitely uh, a more modern uh, piece and is unsigned, but I love it. This necklace, I believe, is also maybe Sir Coventry. I can't remember what I determined. I'll have to refer back because I could be wrong. But what is interesting about this is it's with stone. You see that? I think it's nephrite. Um, I'll have to test it with my uh, Presidian to see. But so here's the hang tag. That's either Coventry or I just can't remember that that hang tag. So um, that's a good piece. So oh, and this is a Jeslane sterling um, pendant, a sterling brooch. I think Jeslane. Yeah, nine two five. And the earrings that matched that Dwayne Dwayne piece. Oh, there's the stone that I need to recover of oh, that one so, pretty much so that's what I've done so far plus a ton of sterling now she had a lot of silver that was marked and unmarked and I haven't tested any of it but I did clean it all and it took an entire day it was so much so you'll be able to see a lot more of her things in the auction and so now I'm going to go ahead and start opening the things that I haven't seen I'm going to share that with you all. Let's go. These are cute. So they're Karu, Karu. I never know how to say that. But beautiful molded acrylic earrings. It's Karu Arc. Very good, very good, very good. So anything that she had wrapped like this, I did not open. I saved that for, for the video. And I hope I can get through it all, but I don't know that I can because I don't want her to have to wait too much longer on me. Oh my goodness. Look at this little guy. That's gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Mm. Beautiful, unsigned that I can see right now, but that's okay because it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh man, we looked at the front first. That's pretty. Those look like gemstones. 
kinda. Huh. And this is not signed. That is so strange. For something that's nice, that was hoping that it would be signed, but look how gorgeous. And she was so nervous. She's like, oh, my stuff. I don't know if it's gonna be where, oh my gosh, it's been, this has been so fun. Um, so this is like a little filigree um, pen. It's got a little rhinestone there. Super, super. Just gonna grab and put at the top. Mm. So if any of you are interested in consigning with me, just reach out. My contact information is in the description box. Just shoot me an email and we'll go from there. Okay. Well, hello. So these are like little slices of agate or quartz on a silver tone bangle. Hmm, interesting. Interesting, interesting. Renoir. And see, I mean, look how nice. Renoir is usually worn to heck. I mean, and and with so much, you know, patina that it's damaged the piece. Look how nice. Look how nice and clean. I hope the brightness is coming through. That's a beautiful MCM piece. So this is a little more modern, but it, oh yeah, that's gorgeous. Faux pearls and little rhinestones. Delta box. That must be who it's by. I've never heard of them. A Delta box. Okay. So these are acrylic pearls. So faux pearls. But they're very nice. I'm going to look this company up and see who they are. Well, this is cool. I don't know why it's reminding me of like a hot air balloon. It's got some pretty significant wear. My first thought is maybe Whiting and Davis, but I don't know. That's very cool. Very interesting design. And we have this. Also very cool. Hmm. Put my tester on it and see what I come up with. She took so much time packing this. I, I just, I've had more fun. This helped me get through the hurricane. <laughs> So this is a beauty, and looky there, we have more Austria. See that mark, Austria. Mm. And look at the condition. Condition is everything with vintage costume. And these so far, these stones, the rhinestones, the settings, everything has been extremely clean. Like I'm not even gonna have to clean a lot of her stuff because it seems like she's already done that to my standard. Um, so this is, is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Okay, this is someone who I can't remember, Sven. Loving that sort of charm dangle. Um, it's got a G initial. That's cool. Oh. So 
So we have this sort of maple leaf with like a, maybe a, a faux stone. Super cute. Just the back on this one. All right. Those are some black, um, very smooth cabochons. Mm. That's an oldie, so we can see by that how far that pen sticks out, the setting on the back. Oh yeah, super, super fantastic. So that's like a copper with the, you know, an enameled art painting or enamel artwork here. It's like a piece missing there. That's unfortunate, but I'm still gonna give that a try because it's gorgeous and somebody spent a lot of time with it. Hmm. This is interesting. Oh. Ooh, wish I had my black light. That's gorgeous. Wonder if it glows. So this is probably a gold filled piece. I'm not sure. I mean, hmm, but that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Hope you can see that stone and it's green. You all know how I am with my green. He's articulated. Look at that. That's cool. American Eagle. Is he signed? No. But that's quite all right. Definitely vintage. He's a keeper for sure. It looks like we have some maybe body piercing here. I believe those are body piercings. I'm not sure. I'll set them aside and see. Cloy's art. Interesting. Never heard of that brand, but this is beautiful. A cloisonne pendant. Necklace. Wow. I know who's gonna buy that. I have several customers that love the poisoning. Oh, we know we're getting Nolan Miller. Very good costume designer, very high end. So there's his cartouche. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So very pretty. Really, really nice shape. This oh they move. Oh yeah, they're jointed back here. Now that's interesting. Hmm. I wonder if these were removable and you could change the colors out. Hmm. Interesting, but beautiful. To place. Good vintage costume designer. There's the mark. These are heavy. So I think that's some kind of, it might sound acrylic, but I, those are glass. These are super heavy, but very, very cool. And this is West Germany. Okay. Okay, focus, focus, focus. There we go, West Germany. So a very textured gold tone bangle. Anything West Germany is hot uh, right now. So um, that's definitely going to be something we, we uh, run through the auction. All right, so I'm gonna grab this bracelet out of the way. So this is cool. This is acrylic. I don't think lucite. It's too 
It's not dense enough, um, but I like it. Definitely like it. Uh oh. Okay. So we've got this little pen. We've got this one. A lucky horseshoe. It looks like that might be marked. It's probably like a gold filled. Let's see. If you all can see that or not, let's see. Yeah, one twentieth gold filled. Got this beautiful little rose, and then another little beautiful piece here, little gold tone piece, all in great shape. liking what I see that's a very West Germany back oh and then a nice enameled um, centerpiece that's pretty okay so we have a pretty little bar pen and then we have this guy. Let me remove this one really quick, put it with that. And we've got this one here. It's really nice. A flower pen. Cute, cute, cute. It's like Christmas, opening all these little packages. I love it. All right. So I have like a Christmas angel. It's like a dead stock piece. That's cool. All okay, right, now that's old. Mmm. This might have been a button or something. It looks like the um, the pen was added after the fact, but still very cool. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I've got this gold tone. Is that something up there? Just That's just texturing. And then we have this piece. This looks like silver to me. I'm not seeing a mark. That's an old closure. It's definitely got age. This will be... This right here will be amber. I'm, oh, yep, I think I see 925 there. I'm think, I think I'm seeing it. Yeah, that's definitely silver, very Art Nouveau, very, very pretty. That one I might leave. I, I like that patina on that piece in particular. Okay. Ouch. Got a little pearl pen. I've got this piece. Oh, that's cool. Little enamel. Oh, this has some sort of like lacquering over the outside. Very cool. I think this one's going to come right out. Little Edwardian style piece. Unsigned, but in really good shape. That's sterling, I can tell you right now. That's old. You can see that old pen there. This could be like an old pawn piece or a dead pawn piece. That's an oldie for sure. And definitely sterling silver. Ooh, gorge, gorge, gorge. Judy Lee. Judy Lee, very respected 
um, a costume jeweler. Beautiful, beautiful set. She made some good jewelry. Oh my word, that's Givenchy and this is good Givenchy. Wow. Look at that magnetic closure. Beautiful, these are glass pearls. Yeah, glass pearls, super chunky, loaded with these little crystals, wow. Now, when I tell you, this lady, literally, her hobby is buying the mystery bags just for the fun of it. It brings her joy. But look at the treasures that she's gotten. I want her to pick for me. <laughs> I want her to be my picker. Okay, she's got a note on here. Let's see what it says. Panino. All right. Kind of hard to see, but there's the mark there. It's kind of incised a little bit. Panino, definitely vintage. Ooh, like little lily pads with these pearls and crystals. Definitely cute. Definitely a winner. Okay, this one's a little more modern. It's in great shape. Not liking a couple of the stones, but that's okay. Everything so far has been so nice and clean. It's 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 amazing, especially coming from Goodwill, because I've got to give that stuff usually a really good scrub. That's cute, little enamel. Mmm. Beautiful cloisonne. Really, really beautiful cloisonne. Um, pen. Ooh, big old chunky brooch. Who is this by? No way. It is not signed. You dirty dog, you. That's okay. I love it. I love it like it is. But she got real creative in her packaging. She packed everything so good. Oh, Lord. Here's more 925. I literally cleaned. I'm not even kidding you. I think I cleaned 200 pieces. And it took hours and hours. I was so happy to do it, though. Don't get me wrong. But, eek! And I know there's more silver in here. All right. All right. A beautiful sterling bracelet. Definitely a good piece and in good shape. Uh-oh. I have a customer who is a consigner who doesn't need to buy any jewelry, but SH. I'm only going to say your initials, Miss SH. Looky there. It's Florida de Lay. One of my cons my view viewers here to the channel, and she's also, she's done, I think, four consignments or five with me so far. She loves anything Florida Lay. Sterling and Pearl. This is like a rose gold plated um, bolo slider bracelet. Super cute. Pretty a little bracelet with these little dangly um, little charms. That's cute. I'm gonna leave the chain in here because oh wee wee. She I wish I could show you guys how well she wrapped the chains. She put them in long tubes and rolled them up with um, plastic wrap and tape and were just so easy. And then of course me I go and 
uh, uh, clean them, tangle everything. I think the untangling took me longer than the cleaning. Maybe not, maybe not. Ooh, this is a charm bracelet and these are some, some of these are oldies. We've got a cat, a cuckoo clock. Oh, these are cool. There's a giraffe, an elephant. Oh, this will be a hard one. Because I'm usually a fan of taking every charm off and selling them separate. But I am going to sell this as is. Oh, and a little bunny too. Oh, another giraffe. Oh no, there's only one, I'm crazy. Okay, so that's gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. So it looks like we have silver with some little pink crystals. I'll test them and see if they're anything more than crystal. Oh, this makes a pretty sound. So sterling and gold vermeil bracelet. Can't go wrong. Okay. Little bracelet there. Another little bracelet here with some blue cat's eye. A little sterling bracelet. Now this one might be an anklet. It is a little larger. Might be an anklet or maybe, yeah, that's gonna be an anklet. Little heart dangles. Has a little bit of age to it. Let's get another dive out of here. I'm having fun. I hope everybody else is too. We are... Uh, starting to recover from the hurricane. By the time you guys see this video, hopefully I'll have had everything fixed or close to being fixed. But right now it's, it's a mess. My roof um, has to be replaced. My fences have to be replaced. I don't know about the air conditioner yet because one of the gates fell on the air conditioner. I have some ceiling leaks from the roof, so Oh boy, but anyhow, this is pretty. It's definitely, I think, vintage. I don't think that this is super modern. It's giving me pot metal vibes, but, and these stones are super dark. Um, they still have their sparkle. I'm gonna set that aside and do some digging. So it was absolutely crazy here during this hurricane, I mean, this was a very weak storm, but it did absolute destruction to this to this city of Houston and beyond. So this is Premier Design, nice little pearl bar pen. I really hope that's the last hurricane. <laughs> I know one thing, I'll never stay here again for a hurricane or a tropical storm. If there's even a 10% chance that it could come here. I'm out. Beautiful modern brooch. I heard noises that I've never heard in my life, that I never want to hear again in my life. It was no fun. Oh, here's a classic Sarah Coventry piece. Super, super classic. I've bought and sold many of these over the years. It literally sounded like as if my roof, the wind was so crazy. It sounded like my roof lifted. I heard like a, like a suction, like, and then I heard a loud boom. And then like, so it sounded like, like, a, like almost dominoes falling. It was the strangest sound ever. And I never want to hear it again. So, and I swear I saw the house shaking, but I, I don't know. I mean, I have a brick house. I don't know how it could shake, but anyway, that's, and it was also 5 a.m. and I was super tired, but, um, so anyway, enough of that. So these are interesting. This one looks like it kind of cracked or broke. Yeah. 
So I might, since it's already broke, I might break it a little more because I'm curious. I don't think that these are gems. I think these are just glass. I don't think this is jade. They're too irid. There's like a, a purposeful iridescence to it. It's so hard to see through the camera, but around the camera, I can see it. Um, but this is pretty. This one is gorgeous too. And you know, it's green. So there you go. Getting with Envy. 925CZ earrings. Always good. Always good. This is the brooch show. If you love brooches like I do. Very West German backing. Oh, and very Sputnik kind of. Also very German in style. Oh, now she's pretty. She's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Unsigned, definitely vintage. These, are, I think, are this is glass. At least this one is. I'm going to hit it with the black light and see if those are UV, um, if they're uranium. So, we'll see, we'll see. Two, five. Oh, this is pretty. So is it like a reversed carved? Vintage sterling silver hand carved MOP brooch. So it must be carved underneath or then a layer put down somewhere. I don't know. That's interesting. That's definitely sterling. That's old. Look at that old hook. Okay, that's a special piece. I mean, does she, does this consigner, I mean, does she not have the best luck at Goodwill? I want to go shop with her or just send her my money and say, hey, buy. Buy whatever you can. That's a pretty sturdy pearl brooch. I'm going to send you my money. Just go buy, buy, buy. Oh, I can see what this is through the bag. Ooh. Dana, you're going to love this. Little tiny micro mosaic. Look how sweet. Those little pieces are called terrace. And it doesn't look like there's any missing. I mean, that's beautiful. He's tiny. So cute. Oh, and stamped Italy right there. So a lot of times, most times, they're either Italian or they're from, they'll be from Spain or from Italy. Um, others could have produced them, but those are the two primary and common ones. So we just saw one like this. This is a little um, more of a modern piece, but it's still pretty. Now I have bought and sold this one before. This, I believe, was Avon. It's beautiful. Hmm. I'm pretty sure this is Avon. I could be wrong, but I don't think that I am. But I don't see a mark. So I'll look into that. Let me back you guys out some. Mmm. Little leaf brooch. Cute little textured gold tone leaf brooch. <laughs> little spoon. Might be sterling. I think it is. Yeah, there's the sterling mark. I don't know if you all can see it here. Reed and Barton. So it's like a little demi toss spoon. I don't think it's a child spoon, but just a little demi toss. Uh oh, this looks like it had little, little something dangling down there at one point. Maybe, maybe not. All right, so this one is definitely modern, but oh, it's pretty and sparkly. Oh, 
that's a pretty brooch. Has a little adapter there, so it could also be worn as a pendant. That's gorge. Okay, here's the back on this one. And there's the front. Now that's cool. That is super, super cool. Very, very different. And unsigned. Has a little bit of age, but not incredibly old. Now this, this I suspect will be uranium glass. I'm gonna set that aside in my test pile. Right, this is the back, and then here's the front. Now a little cording couple, a little brooch. <clears throat> oh, now that's pretty. She's a little more modern, but gorgeous. <clears throat> oh, that's that small one that came out. And we have this guy, Monet. Monet, Monet. Right. Ooh, we're already, how did time fly like that? It's already been 51 minutes. How in the world? So this is sort of how she did all the chains, her sterling chains. And I really appreciated it a lot. It really helped um, when it came time to unfold them. And um, I would have loved to have shown you all the silver, but it's just so much. And I haven't tested anything. I just cleaned it first. And if it turns out it's not sterling, well, hey, it got a bath. Um, if it is sterling, then I'm ahead of the game. But the cleaning part of my job takes a little bit of time and especially with the volume that I process. Because aside from what I get from you all here on YouTube, um, I, I have a you know a, an option, you know, that I have consigners, people that have been bringing me their jewelry and their merchandise for years and years and years. And then I also buy estates. I buy estate collections of jewelry. I, you know, other auctions, other estate sell companies, etc. You know, I visit them all, I buy from them all when I can. Lately, I haven't had time um, because YouTube, I've met so many people in here that, you know, want me to sell their things for them. So it's been lovely that the cleaning part, sorry, I'm gonna take this off the screen for a moment. The cleaning part um, does take me a little time and I clean stuff, it's just habit and, and, and just how I've always worked. I like everything to be neat and clean and pretty when it hits the customer. And also when I'm taking pictures, if something is dirty or has a, a something on it, it really shows up when I'm doing the photography. And I hate that. Okay. So. Okay, that's not sterling. So this is just like a, like a nautical themed very dangly um, necklace. Oh, this is pretty. Textured gold tone. This feels like gold. This sure feels like gold. It might not be. Nah. Hmm. I'm gonna test this because I wanna make sure for my customer that if it is gold that we figure it out. Mm -hmm. I already know what these are. Dana, have a look-see. Whiting and Davis. Beautiful. Like a green, olivine. I hope that the color's coming through. It's like a beautiful green cat's eye. And these are glass. Hear that beautiful whiting and Davis, just stunning, stunning. My very good friend Dana collects whiting and Davis, so um, she's gonna love those. All right, looks like we have some sterling with amber. Yep, 
silver earrings with some amber dangle. Ooh, we're almost an hour. I've got, I'm gonna open these two and then we'll stop and come back for a part two and probably even a part three. Um, Cause there's much, much, much to go through. And again, I've cheated and done some off camera, but um, with the volume of this order and the fiasco we had with the hurricane, I have to speed it up. Sometimes with the larger consignments, I do have to do a little bit of it off camera. That was a beautiful brooch, by the way. Oh, so this looks like one, another one of those angels. That's cute. We were thinking about doing a, I'm sorry, I'm opening this without the camera. But we we're thinking about doing a Christmas in July with vintage clothes, so I'm wondering why I should do that too with jewelry. <laughs> so silver tone, double heart. And last bag before I take a quick break. Oh boy. Don't tell me you're unsigned. You're too pretty to not have a signature. I see nothing. Well, I'm not as impressed with the back as I am with the front. The front, it just looks so like super rich and rich as in color, not as in have anything to do with money um, or wealth. But this is interesting. I'm going to have to do a, a screen search on that just to see because uh, my my curiosity, I'm sorry, I have to do one more. This caught my eye earlier, so let me see. Set. Mm -hmm. Well, this is fabulous. This beautiful panel bracelet. It's not signed. This kind of reminds me of Pome. It's definitely not Sal Rossellini. I don't think any of the usual suspects. I'm gonna have to look this one up. That's super cool. It might be um, Pome or Palm. I don't know how to say it. P-O-M-E. However that is pronounced, that's what I think it is. I've had a set uh, very similar. Oh Lord, let's do one more. This caught my eye too. Everything catches my eye. I say I'm gonna stop and take a break and I don't. Ooh. This is a gold tone pen. Pen? Or makeup something or another. Hmm. I'm gonna set that aside in my test pile. Yeah, this is a pen. No, it's not. That's a Makeup Max Factor Hollywood Medium Brown. So what is this for your eyes or your... Lord have mercy, Jesus. These are so cool. So these are like vintage makeup pieces. Very Hollywood Regency. That's cool. Have this enameled... Oh, look how pretty that enameling. Enameled little pillbox. Oh, compact. Compact. Okie doke. Lipstick ring. I guess what it is. I don't know. Or I don't know. Finger mirror. Leaving that one there. Ooh, this is sweet. Little embossed. Any enamel little brass egg box. That's super cute. And lastly, but not leastly, made in Japan. Cool little texturing there. Very cool. That was fun. Shoot. One more. One more and that's it. I gotta stop. Ooh, Sherman. Now that's a way to end a video. Look at that, Sherman. Mm. Smooth like butter. Oh. Sherman. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. Okay, I really gotta end it. So, 
I'll see you guys back for part two. There's enough here for part two, probably part three, part four. Um, but I am so excited. I am ready to get this stuff to auction. Sorry, one more. I'm ready to get this to auction. These are gorgeous. Oh, these are Obey. These are Hobey, look. This is the good Hobey. Look at these beautiful earrings. Oh my gosh. That's Givray Glass. Yeah, it's called Givray. Those are stunning. That's a good pair. All right, I'm really done this time. So if anybody's interested in working with me, the type of jewelry that you've seen in this video is a perfect example of the kinds of things that I can sell for you and make you really good money. Um, so if you're interested in working with me, reach out. My contact information is linked in the description box below. If you are interested in purchasing something that you've seen in this video, keep your eye on the link to my auction, which is also pinned in the description box below. I cannot wait for next time. Thank you guys so much. Have a great night.